Hi. Happy Wednesday. Hello. I'm uh, Mindy. I'm the pastor at Chapelwood Methodist Church. And I'm David. I'm the pastor of Douglasville and Union Chapel Methodist Churches. And we're joined this evening by Andrea, who is a, a member here at Chapelwood and also an officer in the <laughs> leadership board. So uh, she's decided to join us for our, our devotional this evening. We're doing our Jesse tree, which is uh, tracing the Old Testament all the way from Adam and Eve to Mary and Joseph. And uh, oh, we're getting close. <laughs> we got what nine days eight days something like that yes so we're getting very very close so we're going to start off our devotional by uh singing the first verse of O come O come emmanuel feel free to join us oh come O come emmanuel and ransom captive israel that waves in lonely Until the Son of God appears, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Okay, our scripture for this evening is the story of Jonah. And uh, it's not the whole, we're going to read the whole story of Jonah, but it is the story of Jonah. Yeah. So in, in as simple a terms as possible, what is the story of Jonah? Jonah was a prophet of the Lord, and God commanded Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh, one of Israel's enemies, and preach repentance, saying that, that God was going to destroy the city in 40 days. Jonah said, not no, but heck no. <laughs> and got on a ship going the other way, bound for Tarsus. Well, uh, while they were at sea, there was a huge storm. And the crew cast lots and determined that it was Jonah who was responsible for the storm. And so Jonah said, okay, fine, this is my fault. I'll go overboard. Maybe that will appease God. So he did. And... Along came this giant fish. Not a whale, specifically. Yeah. It just says that it's a fish. Yeah. So. But, a, but a really freaking big one. And Jonah stayed inside its stomach, inside its belly, for three days. God called him again. Said, and, and this time Jonah said, okay, well, I'll do it. Yeah, okay, but first this, this, the fish spit him up in the shores of Nineveh. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was running in the opposite direction of Nineveh, and then he was swallowed by a fish, and then he was spit back up on the shores of Nineveh. So that part's kind of important for anybody who thinks that, you know, running in the opposite direction of God will ever get you anywhere. Apparently it will not. There's no way to do that. So this actual scripture verse that we're reading today comes from Jonah chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. So, uh, I like the story of Jonah personally because I think I can sympathize to some degree. I think most people who are in ministry mm -hmm. can a little bit. God calls you and you're like, he pulls mm -hmm. you in any direction to do something and you're like, oh, you sure about that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and then you find yourself in this situation where because of that choice that you've made to run in the other direction from God, you're kind of being swallowed and, and isolated off by yourself and, and given time to rethink, you know. Uh, one way of looking at the story is that Jonah was, you know, thrown, he, he jumped overboard and, and God, you know, just, the hits just kept coming. First he was in the boat and then the storm hit the boat and then he jumped overboard and then a swish, fish swallowed him and by the time he hits the shore, man, he's learned his lesson. But another way to look at it is he went overboard and he should have drowned. And instead, God sent a fish to safeguard his journey all the way to the destination he was supposed to go to. It really just depends on your perspective, I guess. And not many people would survive days inside a, a large fish. 
I could I could geek out about the symbolism here. I'm not going to because we're trying to keep this brief. Uh -huh. um, but I, I what I will say here is Jonah was expecting God to destroy Nineveh because they had so straight strayed so far away from God and was Israel's enemy, but. God spared them. Yeah, actually in verse 10 it says, When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. And in the very next verse it says, But this was very displeasing to Jonah, and he became angry. And the reason for that was because he, he was angry at God for his mercy, which I think is why that's part of our Jesse tree. I think it's important as we trace the story of the Old Testament that we recognize that what we're talking about is a God of mercy. Uh, a God that calls people to come back to him. And when they do, you know, that, uh, that, that grace um, draws them back, you know. That they, he, it was always a matter of turning the people back to God. Yeah. And we, we might say, you know, really God would even forgive that guy? And hallelujah <laughs> for that all, God does. For because, all of us Jonas out here. Yeah. <laughs> Because we we we're looking at the splinter in their eye and neglecting the log in ours, or just and, or just saying I can't right now when God calls us to do something in ministry, just to say you know I can't right now when God calls us to deliver that message, of you know salvation and grace I I, I can't right now I've got stuff going on I'm busy <laughs> I, I I'm too busy I don't have time so and I think the point of this uh, having this. As a, as a stop on the Jesse tree is that we're, we're reminded that all, all of this, this grace, this forgiveness, this second chances, this healing, all became flesh in that little stable in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as a result, our, uh, as such, our mm -hmm. ornament for tonight is... So, uh, it's a whale of an ornament. <laughs> it is actually a whale, which is makes me sad because it's a fish in the scripture. But um, that's fine. The large fish. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because the point is that you know Jonah ended up in Nineveh. So we're gonna pray our prayer. Yeah, we're gonna pray our prayer. Feel free to join us. Uh, bow your heads or or just join us. God, God of power, power and mercy. mercy. Open our hearts and welcome. Remove the things that hinder us from receiving Christ with joy, so that we may share his wisdom and become one with him when he comes in glory. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. All right, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Andre, for sitting here with us. Thank you for having me. And we'll uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye bye. Good night. All right, I'll get I'll, you. Get that one, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll get that one. Okay. <sighs> All right. Bye bye.